I don't know if you ever noticed on my like, before I periscope, I'm always going. Because <laughs> I feel like it's like so nerve wracking. Hello, welcome fine. back, welcome back, welcome back. Hi. And a welcome brief. <laughs> You replay viewers. Okay, we are here to file it or to see. Yes, ma'am. She is gonna do the drip cake. This is her information here. It's yes, ma'am sweets on IG. And her website is www dot yes ma'am dot us. And also there is classes there. So take a look at those classes. Let me turn around here. All right, so I'm Deandra with Stir Big Decorate. We also have here La La of Ooh La La Confections and Cur Curly Duchess, but her uh, business name is My Cupcake Parlor. So we're all here. Glad to glad to be back. Thank somebody, you. Somebody show me what it's looking like, ladies. Um, Thanks for all the helpful temp tips tonight. Um, love, love, love. Thank you so much. Hello. You don't have to hold it. Up. Yeah, the the party. Where's the party? The party's there's a, here. There's a party. We're the missing party's you. Here. Sydney, we're uh, uh, <laughs> Sydney, we're missing you. Invite your party. Hey, invite your followers. Thank you, for your sweetness. <laughs> so I'm gonna party. make it like yeah, so party. party. <laughs> Jump it down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you didn't That's know. Crazy. Oh, we we forgot to tell Sydney that we were uh -huh. having a scope oh, skills yeah. night. <laughs> All right, so oh, you can't find the group. Loves L U V S. Somebody write love sweets in the sweets in the in the message. All right. Oh yeah. And um. Oh cool. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. She is doing the drip cake, so I'm gonna flip around. Love sweets. No, with an S. L U V S sweets. All right. We'll go ahead and invite followers if you will. And we're going to have some fun, as you can tell. This is our last scope, so let's make it. Okay, so here we go. You're on, baby doll. Am I on? Yep. Yes. Hi, everybody. <laughs> as you can see, look. Yes, on Facebook, love sweet. Look at the lollipop we're going to use tonight. All right, so Hi. I'm going to make a Candyland drip cake. And for uh, purposes of this demo tutorial i'm using a box cake so don't ask for a recipe there's no recipe i'm using a box cake mix and i'm using wilton buttercream that i've colored okay so i'm not using anything special you can if you want to but for the sake of this i'm just using all pre-made box stuff um i have a bunch of candy look at all this goody stuff thanks to lala shout out to lala our group name is loves l-u-v-s Sweets on Facebook. All the candy, right? <laughs> Come and get a close up. Look at all this. You want to get a whole bunch of candy. The purpose of doing a Candyland drip cake, you want a lot of colors, okay? You want a lot of candy. Yes, that's it. Bye -bye. A lot of candy. Yep. So we got a bunch of different candy in here. We got Look rock candy. We got. We rock got... Candy. I'm, I spent twenty dollars on candy. <laughs> you might not want to spend that much, but I'm psychotic. Yes. Um. No, I didn't start the group. Jelena from uh, Yes, Ma'am Sweet started the group. Love sweets on Facebook. Yep. Yeah. And I got pop rocks of different pop colors rocks. and flavors. Pop rocks. Ooh, pretty. That's pop rocks. Um, it's been about what five or six months that the group's been yeah, started. Yeah, five or six months. Um, skills night. Okay, so let me. No, anybody... but it's not a secret group at all. No, it's not. So go ahead and um, request to join. We'll go ahead and yeah. get you approved. <laughs> um, the purpose of Skills Night. Excuse me. I'm drinking Coke all night. If you've missed the first two uh, scopes, the purpose of it is for us to teach you guys some basic things or some things that aren't so basic that you wanted to see somebody else demonstrate and that you can't find on Instagram or you can't find on Facebook and you can't find on YouTube. So tonight we had Unique from um, My Cupcake Parlor, also a.k.a. Curly Duchess on Periscope. Oh, yeah. She sculpted um, oh, these great cake, cake pops. pops. Where the cake pops? Oh. oh, they're all the way over there, but we'll show you in a little bit. <laughs> and then um, Deandra, who's holding the camera, she did um, some meringues. And if you can see here, it's a meringue. She sculpted how to do meringues. Mm. Pretty. So I'm using the cake pops and the meringues on the candy lamp. Um, Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We got so, some brainstorming going on. Right. So, I Very mean, blurry. Okay. We'll try yeah. to fix that. You probably, yeah. You, you're on the iPad. You probably have to hold still a little bit. Okay. All right. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, uh, okay, I'll try to remember your name. Okay, um, we're working on the blurriness, but um, I'll try to hold still. Um, someone asked you, okay. Already? We didn't do anything yet. What's the question? <laughs> no, they're asking about the group. The group oh, okay. is Love's Love Sweets. Love Sweets. We do monthly challenges. We're located in Georgia, Yay! so we're good enough to all be here together. Um, we're doing um, Skills Night, okay? So in order to make Skills Night a success, please share with your followers. Please let people know so that way we can come up with content to share with you guys because this is what we love to do. We do this. We're all at home bakers. We do this for a living. So please share with your followers. Let people know, okay? Uh, do it for the love, not for the likes. I don't care if you give me hearts. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to share with you and give you guys all my information that I have. I even have classes. We have a bunch of classes coming up. So check out my website. We'll show you that in a few minutes. We need and then time you can... for everyone's handle. Ooh, it's too many coming in. Yes, we're going to What do... part of Georgia? We are in... Everywhere. The yeah, Atlanta we're, we're, metro area. We all live apart from each other, but yeah. we're here live in Stir Bay okay. Kitchen. Jay made it home. Yay, right. Jay. Yay! Hi, Jay! Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to frost these cakes. I'm doing maybe four, maybe five layers. They're two inches deep. And, yeah, so we're going to start frosting. I'm going to use the white frosting. Okay. Because I want to save the colors for the outside, but you can do colors for the inside. It probably would have been a lot faster if I would have just done this. Like ahead of time. Show people Some people how like to, to see it done. Oh, make it level. Yeah. Okay, so what I do is I just plop a bunch of it on there. Some people use the piping bag. I don't got time for all that, and I don't want to wash anything, and I don't want to waste any money. So I just plop it on there, and I spread it out with the offset spatula. I don't use the flat spatulas. Those to me don't work out. But you want to use what works for you. But for me, offset spatula, and I oh, plop okay. it in the middle. Go ahead. No, someone said they made a drip cake today and it came out okay. Woohoo! Good, um, keep trying. Pop it in the middle and you want to spread back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and get to all the edges. Don't worry about making it smooth yet. It's not about that. It's about covering the layer of the cake first. And for the you person see how that said, you see how the voice change? <laughs> for the person that said to keep keep you posted because you're in South Carolina, just follow any one of our pages. We uh, share information back and forth on classes. Um, my cupcake parlor. Yes. Unique. Tell us about your class coming up. So we have cake pop class coming. Um, tell me what kind of content that you want to see because I have an idea. I'm actually once I get the class drafted and up, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for two slots in the class. Woo -woo. So just follow up and I'll let you guys know when I have everything concrete and ready for you. All right. Sydney says unique. Hi, <laughs> Hi Sydney. <laughs> Sydney from Sweet Fast. You guys gotta follow her because yes. she does. Awesome business information. For you guys who don't know anything about business, please believe she gives you everything you need to know. Mm -hmm. So follow her. All right, so just so you guys can see how I smooth it, like I said, I plop it on. Like, I'm just all messy with it. I'm not even, like... For the meringue, because you want to learn how to fill them. You can fill them. I guess you can put, like, chocolate ganache and just sandwich two together if you want to. I like just eating and playing. Mm -hmm. Do y'all travel for classes? Probably if we yes. get enough people, we definitely can. I know. have classes in Florida coming up. Check my website out, yesma'am.us. Check my classes. I have classes in Florida. I have classes in Georgia. We have Periscope tutorials. We have t uh, virtual classes. Um, okay, so here. Follow who now? Um, We're going to write all of that down at the end of the scope. Please probably please, we'll probably talking about uh, Sydney. Oh, Sydney. Okay. Am I moving too much? Yes. Okay. Am I okay now? That's why. I want to make sure yeah. I'm okay. Because I, yeah. I know I'm moving like a mile a minute. Okay. Because I'm like it's still. All right. Okay. So once you spread out all your frosting, this is like cake 101 right now. Once you spread out all your frosting to the edges, you just go around with your spatula. Continue to clean it off. Okay. It doesn't have to be like crystal clean. Just keep wiping it off on the edge of your bowl, and then just go around. Wipe. Go around. Wipe till you get a nice even layer. So I'm going to make sure it's even. That looks pretty even to me. What do you guys think? Pretty you, even. you guys here. What we'll you, um, <laughs> share all the yeah. um, uh, the names. Lala's like, right, wait, right wait, at wait. the end. We'll show oh, again. No, it's even. It's even? Like, okay. So then I do another layer. Bam. Nice, beautiful height on this cake. <laughs> Shout out to Stir Bake Decorate for cutting my cakes for me. <laughs> all right. So now I'm going to plop on some more. Oops. That was too fast, really y'all. Yeah, let's turn the pot. So now I'm going to spread it. All the corners. And if you, another thing, if you cut your cakes and sometimes you cut them at an angle, 
you want to make sure your frosting is still nice and smooth. It's okay that your cake is lopsided because whoever's cutting the cake isn't going to go, oh my God, it's lopsided. Ty Fabulous yeah. says, those cakes look big to perfection, honey. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what cake pan did you use? Hey, these are 8-inch pans. Um, Wilton 8-inch pans. Um, 2 inches high. All right, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's okay. I know, I was just thinking about it. <laughs> uh, the bread and stuff. I just want you guys to know, I've never done this in front of people, so I'm like sweating bullets here. Doing fabulous. This is nerve wracking. Oh, thank you, Sydney. Love and Skills Night. We're going to try to get as much information as we can out there twice a month, hopefully. Yes, this is a box cake mix today. She yeah, did that. Box cake. And for icing, it was just Wilton's um, icing because we wanted to just do something quick and fast for you yeah. guys. So I'm not even going to use this layer. This is kind of tiny. This one's big enough. So what I do, what not many people know, is I flip thank this upside you. down. Okay, mm -hmm. um, because it's more even on the bottom, so I'm gonna flip it upside down. Perfect. And don't yeah. be afraid to like grab hold of your cake, right? Grab right. hold of it. Grab hold yes. of it. Slap it. What do you guys think that looks even? <laughs> yeah. I see a little more up here, but that's okay. Good. Good. All right. Yeah. Let me get a rack. All right. Perfect. So now, somebody says. Uh, you can see my offset uh, spatula. Sydney said, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> using my offset spatula, I'm just going to wipe off this excess because I'm using lime green and teal colors. So I want to make sure I don't get the white spread in there. Someone said they can eat it just like that. Mm -hmm. um, there isn't a recipe. It's just um, cake mix. We this just is, wanted to do yeah. something quick. So For just, the sake of the scope, it's just box cake. There's no recipes here. Everything's pre-made. I'm just showing you the techniques it takes to create a Candyland... Um, what am I doing? Drip cake. Drip cake. <laughs> All right, so now that that's done, so now I'm going to add my colors. So I have uh, some beautiful lime green and some beautiful teal. Now, the way I decorate cakes is I always like my heavy color on top, on the bottom first, and to carry on to the top. So let me give that a little You're bit welcome. of welcome. Somebody said, hey, cousin. Toya, Toya doll, Toya, Toll doll, T-O-I toy, doll, toy doll. doll. Sorry. Sorry, toy. <laughs> My cousin? Somebody said, hey, cousin. To oh, oh. oh, okay. I'm not Okay. Hey. Do you cut the edges hey. off? The edges off my cake, like the round part? No. Because for me, I bake cakes oh, okay. the way that I like to eat them. And I love this outside part. That's yeah, like I the like best that part. part. So if you see, I'm just, using a, I'm just using a spatula. And I'm just literally just wiping. You see how messy you can be? And it comes out perfect at the end. I'm just wiping, frosting on. You can use a piping bag if you're a perfectionist. I'm not. I'm just wiping frosting on wherever I want it to be at. We're going to try not to get the dishes and things. So we'll just wait. Oh, yeah, the dishes in the background? <laughs> yeah. Frosting on, frosting on. I'm going to put a little bit of this on. Some lime green. Um, the colors that I am using, though, it's um, these are neon colors. These are CK colors. Am I correct, guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is a CK neon pink. CK Neon Green, CK um, Teal, I believe that is. There it is. Focus. Ah! Neon Pink. It's not lying green. unless you got frosting everywhere. Oh, you know, we didn't get it. Um, there's no frosting recipe. It's just Wilton's in the tub. <laughs> Are y'all watching my frosting follow? <laughs> <laughs> nice frosting I techniques. I am a professional. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be like, who the hell let this girl make a cake? <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So, I just put a bunch of that on. And now we're going to spread it. First, I'm going to spread with my spatula. And then, I'll smooth with a different spatula. And I'll show you guys who don't know this a little trick to smooth out your buttercream and not have to buy expensive tools. So, I'm going to spread from the top first, rotating my board. Let me you get see how up that there. color just kind of blends yeah, in together? Yeah, that was beautiful. And it might be a little bit blurry, you guys, because the camera is trying to focus. So as she's turning the turntable, if she goes fast, that's what's happening. And see how it's starting to blend into itself? Any recommendations on box cake? 
Betty Crocker, Pillsbury Doughboy. Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, is that Pillsbury Doughboy? Pillsbury. Oh, Pillsbury. <laughs> Duncan Hines, Duncan Betty, Hines. Crocker, Betty Crocker. They are all yeah. work pretty good. I use all of my Okay, see you later, Sydney. Sale. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, I use whatever's on sale, too, when I use box cake. Somebody said, looks great blending, Jelena. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, that's so pretty. And See, then and, then, just, yeah. and then you smooth it as much as you can with this, but this isn't the final touch. You want to finish adding these little pieces here. So my green kind of disappeared. So I'm just going to add wherever there's a hole at. Pretty, wow. Wherever you can see cake at. Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid. Let me, this is, don't be afraid to mess up your edges. We're going to fix that later. There's nothing to be afraid of when you're making. Very beautiful. Oh, the edges in the cake, not the edges in the hair. My vanity. Oh wait, um, hold on. Let's scoot this back because it's gonna turn oh, into there. No, it didn't. But oh, okay. So I'm just I'm just covering any place that I have. Thank you. Open People cake. Love you. Love this. Cute. Thank you. Loving Thank this. You. Thank you. Isn't these colors cute, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. We're gonna drip pink all over this thing. I think. Yeah. Let me make sure that we're not. Oh, just uh, tap your screen. That's how you give hearts. Oh, Thank you yeah. so much. Thanks, guys. Share with your followers so that way we can come back on again in another two weeks or so and do another skills night. The challenges for next week is we're using cotton candy in our recipes. Thank you for inviting Appleheads Candy. Okay. Right. So now I'm just going to go around. back over this. Okay, she's going back. Now let me tell you something. I'm a girl with tech. I love uh, texture. So, and any other day, I would probably leave it as bulky as this. Because I like how all this looks, right? I would have left the texture like this. But, because we're showing you guys... It's blended in so pretty. So pretty. Okay, and so Jelena, she also teaches sculpting and um, mythical creatures, and she's going to be here in Georgia as well as Florida um, teaching uh, modeling chocolate and what else? How, how to Sculpting sculpt, mermaids, sculpt. sculpting a unicorn, um, pretty soon sculpting a dragon in Florida. And it's a gravity defying. It's beautiful if you guys haven't seen that. Check out the site. Yeah, let me show you while she's cleaning up um, the cake. Let me show you her information again. And you can screenshot if you want here. Let me get the back a little bit. At IG is at yes ma'am underscore yes underscore ma'am underscore sweets. And then her website is www.yesma'am.us. And that's where you'll find all the information for the classes. And the Facebook group is called Loves, L-U-V-S, Sweets. Somebody put the Love Sweets in the group. Yep, she's got her, oh, yep. All right. Thanks for sharing. All right, so for the All top right. of your cake, right, when you got your, your buttercream spread everywhere, I'm not even worried about these parts here. We're going to come back to those. But once you got the top, uh, all the buttercream spread out, you take your spatula, start from the center, and you work your way around the whole cake just to get it smooth. I'm not worried about edges. I'm not worried about any of that. Just to get it smooth. Let's spread some more. Okay. Annie, why are you watching so closely? You're making me nervous. <laughs> She's like, how you do this? So, let's so I just spread it. Good. And you keep wiping your spatula off, okay? You want to get rid of all the buttercream off your spatula before you keep going. Now, because we're dripping this, I'm Closer. not worried too much about... Okay. No, somebody said oh. closer. I'm not going to worry too much about smoothing it completely because the um, what we're dripping it with, it'll be nice and smooth. But we want to get it as nice and smooth as possible. Oh, great. This lady says uh, she is in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Woo, girl, come to Fort Lauderdale. Hey, girl. <laughs> That's my city. It's Pembroke Pines. Tell me your name again. I think it was Lakeisha, I believe. I couldn't... Uh... I didn't get the rest of it. Concentration. Okay. As 
raining. As long as we don't have any pieces. It's out. raining in California. It never rains in Southern California. Are you in Southern California? <laughs> <laughs> I used to live in Southern California and it never rained. Okay, Lakeisha the Baker. Okay, great. So she's at Fort Lauderdale. So try to remember her name. Yes, come to my classes. It is yeah, it never rains. And when they wrote that song, it really never rains in Southern California. Okay, you see this? This is um, part, this is my cake kit. Part of my cake kit, okay? I don't make a cake without this. Let me stop moving it so you can see. You see this? I got this at Walmart in the painting section. You can go to your local hardware. Stop shaking it for us. <laughs> local hardware, um, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, wherever. I got this, I think, for like 2 $3.00. Oh, okay. Two or three dollars, okay? And what it is is a paint smoother. I use it for my cakes. And the reason I use this rather than the ones that they offer in stores, like... <laughs> Dig in my drawer. <laughs> like this one, as you can see, it's too short. Right. <laughs> Whereas this one is perfect height. And if I could make it tall if I wanted to, right? Because you're not going to get the whole cake even mm -hmm. with this. You're going to get want this, okay? Mm -hmm. So remember where you found this tip at. Tell your friends. <laughs> Jelena with Yes Ma'am Sweets and told us how to go and smooth our entire cake at the same time. Okay? I'm glad you saw her mermaid. Wasn't it beautiful? Oh, thanks. All right, so I'm going to smooth this just like you do any other smoother. Did you bottle your ice cream? <laughs> Thank you, that uh, Alexis Lauren, Alexia Lauren is saying we're all doing great. Or thanks for doing this. I'm, I can't even read. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> That's how I was when they were asking questions. Like, wait a minute, hold on. How many cakes did we use? Four. We uh, four cakes, four eight-inch cakes in Wilton's two-inch height pans. Okay, I'm not sure who you're asking about a message for, but we'll have to do all that. Um, we'll check our messages and things when we get back. Um, no, she didn't use any dowels for this cake. Mm -mm, no dowels. Hmm? Oh, somebody said they got their first tier ordered cake today. Ooh, She's ooh. nervous. Girl. She or he's nervous. I'm nervous too. <laughs> I always get nervous okay, when I get an order, armpit. but you know, <laughs> no, I don't have you. Get my little armpit in this. Not very attractive. Someone isn't paying attention. <laughs> there is, okay, so when you scrape your cakes, okay, this is just um, an FYI. When you scrape your cakes to smooth them out, can you guys see that? How there's like these little holes in them? That means your buttercream is uneven. Oh, that's okay? a good tip. So what you want to do when you go back, when you see this and you want a nice smooth buttercream, Especially if you're putting fondant over it. Because if you put fondant over this, you're going to get air bubbles. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, not cute at all. So what you want to do is you go back with your frosting or your buttercream. And you just go in, just like how I was doing before. Right? And put it in. And then go back over and even it. Because you want this to be <laughs> even all together. Drea said, get those edges or something. I could, I'm, it's oh, been you a minute. Have, don't leave my edges yet, Drea. <laughs> so, nice and smooth. You see that? You see how that's going? Yep. All nice and smooth, nice. right? But we're making a drip cake. She does the most, says she's loving this. Oh, it's thank yeah, you. Yay. I thought you were saying I do the most. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so some people use their um, smoother to clean off the top. I use my offset spatula. Um, uh, uh, Ty Jordan is asking... At this point, would you dowel it? At what point? Or at what point, sorry. I do not dowel cakes that aren't tiered. So if this cake is, is how it is, I'm not doweling this. This is staying how it is. Because my cakes are nice nice and even. Um, I already put some buttercream or the cake was sticky enough to stay to the cake board. There's no need for me to dowel it. If you want to dowel it, you go right ahead. But I feel like when it is a one-tiered cake, you're taking away from the cake by doweling it. Because you, you know, you won't dial the next tier. You'll dial the bottom tier if you have two tiers, okay? Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't dial it. If you did a two-tiered one or three tiers or so forth and so on, then you would. And I, and if I was to do it, I would dial it after um, I've covered it with fondant. Yes, so only for more than one tier. Yep. Yeah. 
So I would cover with fondant first and then dowel. I'm just covering up this cake piece down here. What I'm doing right now, if you're new at frosting cakes, don't do what I'm doing right now. Okay? <laughs> because this is this takes year and year to practice to notice what you kind of fix and just fix it easily. Do it the beginner way, and then when you become more comfortable, then do it the way that I'm doing now. <laughs> All right. So for anybody who's came in, this is Skills Night, and um, what we're doing is a, a collective group of us here in Georgia have gotten together, um, bakers that uh, – have gotten together and we're sharing um, tips and trick tricks and recipes and different skills to just share with you guys um, in order to help people who are beginner bakers or you know um, we all let me flip this around for a second while she's working on that what the beginner Okay, okay. Right there. Okay, I'm going to... Okay. We're going to do it this way. How's